All right, so Luis here is telling me that they get the brand new Tiger 900 in. Oh, this is dangerous. Don't do this. Yeah, this is dangerous. Don't do this. This is, this, when did it come in? About a week ago, not even. Oh my gosh. So is it really nice? There's Baldy. No, it's, it's very nice. Has anybody bought it? No, not yet. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm a little surprised too because this. Uh, How much horsepower is it? I'd have to double check on that. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but last Saturday we did a demo. This versus the uh, 24. Um, right, right. Right. And then also the 850 BMW. And pretty much everyone that rode all three, they said this one hands down. So this is a demo bike right now. Sure. I mean, we did do demo, yeah. Right. Wow. How does it sound? Pretty good. Can we start it? I don't think, I don't think Baldy will mind. Well, I mean, I think you just start right here for a second, right? Can I start this? Can I start it? Okay. He said again. Okay. Um, is it in neutral? Yep. So now, borderline, better off buying this than 1200, right? Got that triple sound, but it's got some deeper note. I like it. But does it have a triple? Yeah, this is a triple yep. right there. Yep. This is dangerous. Jeez. Not as dangerous as you are. Ah, this you're funny. Okay. Yeah, I came by yesterday. I made fun of you guys on my video channel. Thank you. Because you weren't here. Oh, I was going to buy a snowmobile yesterday. Oh, we don't sell snowmobiles. Oh, that's oh. right. Hi, oh, dang it. You know, I thought uh, about yeah, it. Yeah. I think you should start selling snowmobiles. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. That's, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. So, Curtis here, the married man to Shelby. Now, how he got her, I have no idea. He paid her a lot of money. So, if you listen to Shelby, I get it. I, I hear you. He needs to pay you more money. Okay, I'm trying to help him out by buying something from him. But he's a triumph. He's a Triumph guy. He actually owns a Triumph 900, but now the previous generation, this is the 2024 updated, redesigned, refreshed. So what makes this so much nicer than your 2023 or 2022? Well, uh, as much as I love my bike, don't get me wrong, uh, there are a couple upgrades keeping it light. Um, obviously, this is the new colorway. This is the new ash gray color. I'm really liking the way that that looks. So you see it on that bobber right there and a few other Triumphs. Uh, this bike got uh, about a 15 horsepower increase from my bike. That's definitely something that... So how uh, much horsepower is it so now? So mine, mine made about 95. This one's going to be more like 110. So okay. uh, definitely a good difference there for right. street riding. And you know, when you're on the highway and top gear, that, that power, you're going to feel the difference. Okay. Um, then uh, the next major difference on a highlight is the TFT uh, has been changed. From the previous, you might want to move the camera over to the left a little bit. It's been changed from the previous TFT, where now you'll have a dash that is much more reminiscent of the Tiger 1200, uh, with the round mm -hmm. dash, right. uh, the round style tachometer, as opposed to this kind of left and right sliding scale. Right. Uh, and then you get, you know, a really beefy new skid plate uh, on from the factory. That's very different from the old Rally Pro. What about the crash bar? Is that crash factory? Crash bars are still standard. That that was standard on the previous year as well. Um, Inverted front fork, is that the same? Oh yeah, yeah, it's all the same. We still have the, uh, you know, radially mounted calipers. So um, a lot of that, you already had a lot of really high spec parts on this bike, and now it's just got a little bit more juice. Is That's it, going to be your preload adjuster. So it's not an electronic suspension. The GT Pro is electronic. The Rally Pro is not electronic, but the suspension itself, I'd argue, is a little bit more capable. So, so there's a different is, model. There's a higher grade model on this 900. Essentially, the GT Pro is, that's the one I have. It's more convenient, and it's more... Um, geared towards people who are specifically interested in riding on the street and maybe are using their adventure bike almost as a sport touring bike as much as an adventure bike. Okay, so 
What model is this? This one is a Tiger 900 Rally Pro 2024. And then it has one model above that. There's the 1200, yeah. Okay, so I want to make sure I understand you. Mm -hmm. This right here is the highest level 900 you can get. This would be the highest price point and most capable 900 you're going to get. So to get the electronic suspension, you go to the 1200. You would go to the 1200 or you'd go to a less off-road oriented one. So the GT Pro and the and the Rally Pro, they're, you know, you have the GT Pro is essentially the top spec of the on-road adventure bikes. Right. Rally Pro is the top spec of the off-road. The GT Pro is slightly cheaper in terms of MSRP. It comes with the electronic suspension. That being said, you don't get an off-road pro ride mode, which is a bit more capable on the Rally Pro. It turns off all the rider aids, and you wouldn't get the cross-spoked wheels that you see on this Rally Pro. Right. So for the person watching my channel, they could opt for the 900 GT then. Yeah, the 900 uh, GT or GT Pro. That, that GT Pro is what I've got, because I know myself, I really don't ride in the dirt. Uh, I just like the way the bike handles, so GT Pro all the way. I use it as a street bike. So the 900 GT would have electronic suspension? The GT Pro would have electronic suspension. And well, how much more would that be for that bike? They, they, it's going to cost, like I said, it's a little less than that. Really? Yeah, the electronic, because the wheels, I would imagine, might cost a bit more oh, okay. than the, the electronic suspension. Right. Is. So I, I don't know exactly what these costs are on the back end, but the, the fact is the Rally Pro is a little bit more expensive. It comes with fancier wheels and the longer travel suspension and some more accessories just not that electronic okay rear suspension so who would you recommend buys this model uh, as the adventure rider versus the gt pro model i would say the person who should get this is the kind of person that buys this bike you've ridden off road for a long time and you want a larger bike maybe not a full size but you want a larger adventure bike that you could tour for across three states to get to your BDR and then ride your whole BDR route. This would be that bike. Because that's a seven gallon tank? It, it's, oh, it's, you'd still, no, the, the tank's not any bigger. The, this is really the accessories from the factory are for off-road, the wheels are for off-road, and you have the off-road pro ride mode that's gonna kill your rider aid so you can slide the bike right. in, in bad traction. If I, if I, uh, I have an off-road mode on my GT Pro, but it, it, it's not. The default's always always back. To yeah, and it, it's not quite as willing to, to let me do what I whatever I right. need to in the back track. But it's aesthetics-wise, windshield-wise, look-wise. Besides the wheels, they look the same. More or less, you're gonna color. You're gonna have some small changes, like you know, one model might have crash bars, another doesn't, and maybe a different style of skid plate. Right. But as far as general, you know, the body panels where everything is, the, the style of windshield, all of that's going to be common across these models. They'll just have different colorways and different little bobs and bits, depending on what you're looking at. And this is a manual adjustment screen, correct? correct? Yeah, this is a manual, just, you know, grab the bar, and it's a little spring-loaded, oh, so nice. that way right. uh, it holds itself in place on the road and it won't vibrate itself. Right. And we'll just start her up for the YouTubers yeah. just to hear a little, I'll, hear a little. I'll do that real quick. So that I already, door, yeah, I talked to him. So here it is, 2024. You're probably one of the few dealers that has actually gotten one in yet. Probably, yeah. And let's see what we got here. And there you go. And it's a three-cylinder inline. Yep. The uh, Triumph. Yep, just under 900 cc's inline three. All right. That's good. Very good. All right. I'm going to wrap it up there. About a six-minute video. Come see Curtis at Motorcycles of Dulles here in Dulles, Virginia. He'll help you pick out the right motorcycle. All right. Here we go down here now. Now, here's the 1200. 1200 series, which, yeah, for me, um, this is the 900. But this is the previous generation, which, you know, they don't really look that different. Um... Then you get into the big boys, where you got, oh, there's a 900 as well. So, that's interesting. Um, I think this is a really good looking bike right here. That one. And then you get into, even for me, these look so similar. This is the 1200, which this is a really good looking bike. So, but it gets pricey. But, they have it. $2,500 off, so that's pretty good. So this is really about a $22,000 motorcycle, which is not too shabby. 
Um, so, let's see here. Yeah, what do we do? Do we buy one? Do we buy one on a snowy day? Do we make this a snowy day? Do we make this my first official, my first official purchase? Make this my first official purchase of the year? Another motorcycle? But what do I give up? Yeah, right? Yeah, what do you give up? As we walk the line, do I really cross the bridge and have two triumphs? It's, uh, it All right, so they're taking me in the back here. So here is the one that you never put together. Yeah, it just needs to, you know, it just, it's just finished. It needs right, to same finished. size tank. Yeah, same size tank, same color. But what's uh, the big difference between the, the Rally versus the GT or whatever? So the, the GT is essentially just going to be the best bike it can be on the road. So with those mag wheels, you'll get a little bit more direct road feel. Right. Uh, you know, you're still going to have the blind spot detection. You're still going to have the really big uh, tank. But it's but, a, but it's a lower it's a lower bit, seat. It's a little lower to the ground because the oh, suspension nice. doesn't have quite as much travel, and you'll have a 19-inch front wheel instead of the 21 in the front, um, which should give you a little sharper steering response going in the corners on the street. Right. If, if you're not, you know, going off road all the time, this is really the best. The, the right, right. It's more of a road bike. Yeah. Yeah. That's course, pretty cool. You can still go off road however you need it to, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's nice. More angled the street right. Now, is this one a little less money or about the same? A, l a little less, but they're pretty close. And it shows the rebate. Correct. Yeah. Right. They're, okay. They're, although they should qualify for all the same incentives. Okay. All right. So for you, I mean, the nine hundred is nice, but I just like that twelve hundred. Oh yeah. I mean, and you, how much you, power? How much power is it like, at? So that. For you, you're going to want the 1200. It's uh, 150 horsepower. Oh my gosh. Versus, versus the 115 on the new 900, my 900, my 95. Wow. So, it's still a lot of power. But. It's still a lot of power. You, knowing you, Gary, you, you want a 1200. Okay. All right. All right. So hold on here. So you're saying you got a blue GT 1200? Yeah. So the, this, this one, that was two bikes down from the one we were originally looking at. Uh, of course, we'd love to put you on that white one. But as far as sitting on the bike, this blue bike here. So this is it. This is the exact same bike. This is the same bike functionally. It's just a matter of a, you know, a different color. Tender. Yeah, it's just a different color. Okay. But this is going to be the same bike. That's dangerous. Should I get the blue? And now what I see you guys do is you guys recommend you step up. Yes. On, use the kickstand. Step onto the peg. Let the kickstand and, uh, and then yeah. you get the bike on so that's good it's yeah, not bad you're easily tall enough for this the balls of your feet on the ground yeah yeah that's no issue yeah, so that's not bad you'll be nice so can we start this one up sure so this is just a key fob correct this doesn't need a keyed ignition this bike it's been a little bit so it won't let you open that with the bike on i'm gonna prime the fuel pump a couple times just because the bike hasn't been on in a little while right that's a good idea. Yes, just can't be too careful. And then I'm going to say clutch in, hold it. Sometimes with the cold start, it might take two tries. Now, this is the same thing, manual yeah, adjustment. Same, it's going to look very familiar to the 900s dash that we discussed earlier. Right. Okay. Nice. Nice. It has the blind spot thing. Oh, yeah. I love this that. This is the blind spot detection right here. Right. You got that. Very, very highly adjustable, nice Brembo levers. Um, sorry. Sorry. Right. No, um, you're good. You got a you know variety of ride modes on here. You got you know road, sport. And this is what you have. And you have the 900 setup. Correct. So you have the same bike in a 900. Yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, it's going to share a lot of similar characteristics in a lot of the software features, though since mine's a 23, um, they don't have the exact same TFT setup. Okay. I like it. I really do. I mean, I really like on how the, uh, it isn't that bad getting off and on because I've had so many of these bikes and it's such a challenge to get on them and off of them yeah. because they're so tall yeah, and it isn't that enjoyable. Pretty easy bike to move around too, since you got so much steering angle. 
But I kind of like the white because of the black accent. I, I think that black kind of gives a little bit more flair for me. And it's for me, blue is my favorite color. My Tiger 900 is blue, but frankly, I think I agree with you as far as the Tiger 12's colors go. Also, Snowdonia white in particular is a nice white because it's got this cool kind of metallic flake right. finish to it. And uh, I don't know if that's coming through for your audience here, but uh, Snowdonia so, it looks good in person. So somebody saw on the different Tigers, the 1200, of course, the biggest thing is more money. Mm -hmm. But what you're getting is a bigger motor, you're getting more power, you're getting the blind spot monitoring. You're also um, getting the small small little things. Like, for instance, this bike's got a hill hold. Oh, that wow. The 900 doesn't have. So oh, I love that's that. That's a small little piece. But, you know, people always think about hill hold with, oh, so I don't roll backwards at a stoplight. Honestly, the, my favorite time to use hill hold is when you're at a stoplight facing down a hill. Right, right. Because I don't know about you, but like yeah. the, uh, trying to hold the bike in right, place later, right. like yeah, falling down right. a hill can be kind of tough. Right. So hill hold is nice for that. Right. Uh, and it kind of automatically releases as you get into the friction. What about um, the, the size fuel tank on this versus the 900? What size? So you're going to have a difference. I'd have to look up the exact liters. It's a little shy of a three-gallon difference between them. This is going to be around 7.9 gallon okay. fuel tank capacity. Um, so it beats the BMW GSA, uh, I want to say, by like a tenth of a gallon in terms of total capacity. Uh, what about the 900, though? What size tank is that? It's going to be around five gallons. Oh, wow. So yeah, I you, get about 200 miles between Phillips on my tire. Okay, all right. Um, so we're looking, really looking more at this model. So the GT, this is the GT. Explorer. And that is the Rally Pro. That's the Rally Explorer. Rally Explorer. Essentially, so, if you see blind spot detection on the mirrors, you're looking at an Explorer. Blind spot's the okay. easiest thing to, to pick out. Right, okay, but what I'm saying to you is from the GT to the Explorer, it's the wheels, number one. From the GT to the rally. Yeah, GT. Look, yeah, what I was saying earlier, GT to the rally. Uh, it's the difference of the wheels. Yep. This is a little lower to the ground. Yep. This is an 18 inch versus a 21 inch. 19 versus 19. You're, you're 19 doing versus. Great. You're doing great. Okay, so smaller front tire. Um, and there's also going to be some software differences. The, the Rally Pro has got a ride mode that the GT Explorer doesn't have. Okay. It's because got the off road pro ride mode. Right. All right, um, just got suspension, all kind of looks. Yeah, and what about well. crash bars? Both have crash bars. Yes, so the GT Explorer is gonna get lower crash bars only from the factory while the Rally Explorer gets the uppers and lowers. You can put the uppers on the GT Explorer, you just have to add. But now the tire tread on the back, um, more street, this yeah. is more off-road, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, for sure. These are going to have the uh, Carews. I think so this here, so let's pull this out just to see how much difference it is for me seeing that bike to really see what we're talking about on really how much different it is. So let me get on there. I'm not used to getting on the bike that way. I'm used to. So let's see. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's it not, but it's not radical. So you're about a 30 inch taller. Granted, I think I can raise that seat a bit. You're in the low setting right now. I think I can actually raise you up by another inch or so. Well, I wouldn't want to go up. I'd no, want to go down. No, I don't think you'd want to go up. You'd, you'd right. want to go down. Okay. So, resale. Who's looking for what? Sorry. Resale. Resale. Yeah. Who Who is going to buy this versus the road bike? You have the road bike versus the real off-road bike. I'd say that... Uh, I, I would look at this, the Tiger 1200 Explorer, generally as because the, the engine's amazing uh, and, and the electronic suspension it can be very sporty if you want it to, but it's also very flexible. So you know, while these are adventure bikes, you really can do anything on them. Um, I think the best way to look at the Tiger 1200 specifically is as a real on the GT Explorer. It's an extremely capable. Uh, adventure bike that I'd say is almost in the realm of being like a sport touring bike where it's it's aggressive it's fast the handling is excellent and you'll be in comfort and can carry your stuff uh, this will just have quite a bit more off-road capability than your traditional sport touring bikes like a Kawasaki Concourse or a S1000 XR or right a Ducati Multistrada 
Right. So, but the price is so basically the same. Because. Right? I mean, you're talking like a $700, $800 difference. I've got, two, uh, I've got a customer up front, Gary. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go take care of him. Here, move this back so he doesn't get anybody's way. Yeah. That way you, you don't get called out by John. Oh, it, it would be him. All right, I gotta take a timeout, gotta take care of some business, and do now. Do I, do I buy a Triumph Tiger and give up one of my other bikes? It's always the adventure. And, and that's what I'm debating. Do I give up one bike, but what do I give up? So what would I give up for a Triumph Tiger? I don't know. Stay tuned.